Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add chords into the music that you are creating with Muse Score 3. Uh, you will learn how to enter chords as notes, as well as how to enter the chord symbols uh, on top of the notes uh, for your music. Let's get started. So you want to have Muse Score open, and let's go ahead and start by adding uh, chords as notes. And so in order to add notes, you want to click on the note you want. So I want a whole note and you want to make sure to click uh, the, the N over here so that it will add the chords. Uh, so you can add the note by just uh, finding the note you want and then clicking the mouse and you'll see it went forward. But you can see if I uh, go to the note on top of the note that I just created, I can add another note. So I'm going to create a C chord. So we've got C, E and now G. So we've got the C chord created. Now I'm going to move to the next measure. And you can also uh, go between, um, you know, note selector and regular selector by just pressing N. So if I press N, now I can just kind of click around. If I push N again, now I can add notes, some, some more notes. So I'll grab some more notes that I want. So again, just place the note where you want it. The next one's going to be an F chord. And again, I just stack the notes on top of each other. And you'll see it, the, the note that's blue is the one that you're putting in. So uh, we've got a C chord, an F chord. Now we've got, let's do a G chord. And then let's try an A minor chord. Okay, so now you can see we have our notes stacked on top of each other. So that created our chords with notes. Now let's say uh, you want to uh, have the symbols for the chords on top. This would be uh, for anybody else, anybody else that's uh, playing along, possibly guitars and those kinds of instruments. So the way you do that is we need to get into to selector mode. So right now I'm in note mode, so I need to um, press N and now I can just click around the screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the first um, chord here, one of the notes, and I'm gonna go up to add and then text and then you're going to go down to add chord symbol. OK, so I click that and now you can see it, it uh, put a cursor up on the top. And so that is a C chord. So I'm just going to write a capital C for that chord. Now, another way that you can um, get to that is just to push control K. And so let me show you what that means. So let's say I selected this one, the F chord. Now, if I push control K, it's going to give me the same thing. So now I can put the F, capital F, for the F chord. Now let's say I don't want to keep clicking around. I just want to go from chord to chord. If I just press space, it's going to go over one beat. Okay, so you can see now if I want a different chord there, I could. I'm going to keep pressing space until I get to the next chord. So now I've got our G chord, so I'm going to push a uh, capital G there. And let's say instead of going one at a time, one beat at a time, let's say I want to go to the next measure. So you can press tab to uh, move ahead to the next measure for your chord. So I'm going to push tab and you can see that made it go to the next measure. So now we need an A minor. So, so there are a couple ways you can put in A minor. Uh, you could uh, put in a lowercase a um, or in this case, I'm going to put a, a capital A and then a lowercase m and then um, press space and that will get out of there. And then if you want to exit the um, chord symbol um, mode, then just click outside. And then now uh, we're just in, we can click around again. So again, that's how you uh, enter your chords for the notes and then your chord symbols on the top. If you want to delete any of the chord symbols, you just select it and then press delete. And that will uh, delete the chord symbol. You now know how to add, change and delete chords and chord symbols in Muse Score 3. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. I have other MuseScore 3 tutorial videos. I'll put the links on this video. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I thank you, and I will see you in the next video.